What's up guys, this is Ayrton from Soccer Invasion I'm bringing you the new Nike Mercurial Vapor 11s from the Spark Brilliance pack These are being used in the Euro 2016 as well as the Copa America Centenario I will announce the giveaway winner from the last video at the end of this video so if you're interested in that, stick around to the end the rest of the box they have the Mercurial String Bag the Nike Swoosh a little bag on the inside so now let's get into the rest of this review starting off with the colorway of the new vapor 11s they have a bright crimson upper for the majority until it fades into this black in the back the upper also has these pink and black stripes going across the entire upper we have the volt nike swoosh on the upper Volt Nike swoosh on the tongue. Volt ACC branding. You have the Volt Nike swoosh in the middle. Volt Nike swoosh at the bottom. And Volt studs all the way around. Black soul plate. That is pretty much the entire colorway. Now moving on to the performance. Now for the performance of the new Vapor 11. Starting off with the upper, it is made of the same Tajian synthetic leather as you would find on the Vapor 10, although it has a little bit more thickness due to the speed rib technology, which is these raised parts on the upper that goes across the entire upper. It is made to provide ultimate ball control at high speed, also traction, also improves lockdown and touch. The tongue on the Vapor 11 is attached to the upper to create a seamless sensation as well as the one piece upper construction. The ACC technology is on the entire upper to provide the same touch in all weather conditions. The heel liner is made of the synthetic leather as well but is also very padded for how light this boot is as well as there is a internal plastic heel counter to provide stability at high speeds and protection. So now for the sole plate on the Vapor 11, which is in my opinion the biggest change coming from the Vapor 10. It is a lighter plastic material and is also anatomically shaped to form to your foot better. As you can see, it does re go down in a valley cone kind of way. Also, they added these little strip here for extra durability for the cleat. Also, the studs are triangular shaped, which provide good straight line traction, as well as lateral traction. Here are the rear ones. As, as you can see, they provide good traction. They're a good length. And the insole, the standard insole. They also add glue at the bottom of the heel all the way down to here so it doesn't slide around as much. And it is also anatomically shaped just like the sole plate so it fits better with your foot. So now for the fit on the Vapor 11s. I am a size 10 and the length and the width is absolutely perfect as far as it could be so now for my honest opinion on this cleat i think it's not that much of an improvement on the vapor 10 the the performance is pretty much identical but the problem for me is honestly the comfort and the reason is this anatomically shaped sole plate is not as comfortable as the flat sole plate that was on the vapor 10 and it might be different for you, but if you are wanting to get one of these cleats, I highly recommend you go and try them on so you know how they fit. And this sole plate is very thin, so you might feel some stud pressure from this stud specifically after a long wear time. And this anatomically shaped valley here, you can actually feel on the inside pretty significantly. You might not feel it after a long time playing but it might 
be a discomfort for you that you should consider. Also for the tongue, I feel like it is too high and that is cause of discomfort because when you tighten the laces tighter, if you need to, you will feel all of this compressed down and the tongue is getting it all squished up and it's not as smooth as it's supposed to be for like a clean striking surface. So that messes up. Also, if you need to tighten it more, you also feel this come out. Even though you tighten it, it won't actually tighten as well. So this will be sticking out and it won't fit as good. So in terms of performance, the Vapor 11 is just as good, if not better, than the Vapor 10 because of the these triangular shaped studs and this upper that is more reinforced but in terms of comfort in my opinion it's not as good so now I'm talking about the giveaway details now for the giveaway information the winner of the Mexico home authentic jersey from my last video is Saul Ramirez pyroclasm congratulations to him thanks to everyone who participated in that giveaway I appreciate the tremendous support and it motivates me to make more videos for y'all that's all for now Thanks for watching Soccer Invasion.